on Lender Court at the People's United Center. I'm Brian Schwartz with Josh Silverman, and we're going to get you ready for the Quinnipiac University men's basketball season opener against the Villanova Wildcats. Josh, we're going to run through the lineup real quick as we go through the court. So let's start off at the point guard position where Rich Kelly is probably out for this game. Yeah, Brian, I mean, you know, I was told week to week, uh, and, you know, that's why I tweeted out. It, he was on crutches today when we saw him, so he's probably not suiting up. We don't know. There's been no confirmation, but I think the safe bet is that he's not playing against Villanova. Rich Kelly probably out. That means Savion Lewis probably slots in to that point guard spot. Yeah, so Savion, uh, we'll like we'll sh bring it around the court. So Savion, you know, starting at the point, what he's been really, what he's really good at, he's so quick, he's so athletic, so you know, he might not be the passer or the shooter that Rich Kelly is, especially Rich in his second year playing college ball would you know be even better at those attributes. But Savion Lewis is so athletic. I mean, we've seen him practice some of the things he's done. He's picked Rich's pocket a couple of times. So I'm excited to see how, as a freshman, how he will take the reins, assuming he starts at the point guard position. He's very quick, so it'll be interesting very to quick. see how he matches up against some of those Villanova players. Moving over to the two spot, it's probably Travis Atson that's going to start there. Coming from Tulsa, he was out last year as he redshirted due to the transfer rules. What do you expect to see from him this season? Well, another person with crazy athleticism, and we're going to say about a couple more players on the lineup, but he's a great shooter, and of course what we can see from him, again, is only from practice. But we, what we've seen from Travis Adson is a player who can really do it all. He can drive to the basket. He can shoot. He can shoot from all different places on the court. So he's, a, he's someone that the Bobcats at the two-guard position will be someone they lean on heavily. A couple more players filling in there, Aaron Robinson. Andrew Robinson will also be at that two spot. Yeah, Andrew, I mean, that's someone that I picked last year as, you know, one of the best players on the team. Andrew's knocked down from anywhere on the court, so anything he can add to this team, any minutes he gets are all good minutes for the Bobcats. Both leaders on the team, on and off the court. Now back to the three and the four spot. Both of these players probably get some play time at both the three and the four, Cam Young and Jacob Bergoni. Yeah, I mean, both players, I mean, Cam, again, we've talked about the athleticism. He's a 6'6 six, six guard or forward, whatever you want to call him. He plays a little bit of both, depending on the lineup and the size of the lineup. He can do everything. His three-point shooting isn't great. He's shot about 31% last year. He said he's working on that. But, I mean, the way he gets to the basket and the way he's able to pull up and do a multitude of things with the ball in his hands and off ball, and he's really good on defense. He gets a lot of blocks. So him at the three or the four and Jacob Rigoni, I mean, we saw it at practice today, knocked down a bunch of shots from that corner right there. Mm -hmm. We've seen in games knock it down and almost anywhere on the court. Both players can shoot the ball. Jacob Rigoni in specifically can shoot the three. So, you know, you got a lot of – a lot. A lot of players on this team that can shoot, and that's only going to help the Bobcats. Yeah, Cam Young said he was working on the three ball this summer, so we'll see if he can shoot that ball better. Now to the five spot. This is where it kind of, kind of gets interesting for the Bobcats is Kevin Marfo, another one of these transfers, will come in and get big playing time. Yeah, I mean, you know, Bundu, Abdullah Bundu would probably start the season and will probably hold on to that position throughout the whole season. But like you said, Kevin Marfo is going to come in. I mean, we've seen them go at it in practice. Both players are very talented, can do a lot of things in the post. And both have good court vision, which I feel like we don't talk about a lot, but both have good court vision, you know, off the offensive rebound or just when, you know, they, they post up or anything like that. So those two players are going to be great for the Bobcats this year, and they do a lot of things great down low. Toughness from both players is a big exactly. key. It's a, it's a big part of the Quinnipiac roster as a whole. You know, there's a lot of depth on this team. There's a lot of depth, and, you know, Rich Kelly being out, just shows that you know they do have depth obviously the point guard position is where that's the you know the worst or i guess the least amount of depth but you know the team should be fine should be fine should be interesting to see how they fare on saturday at the wells fargo center in philadelphia for josh silverman i'm brian schwartz for more coverage on the quinnipiac men's basketball team check out q30tv.com